Hey, Jill. You know them old sugar daddy. They be tricking. They tell them girls. I said you can have whatever you like. I said you can have guys I'm back and I have a request and her name is I think it's from makeup fanatic queen this is gonna be a two-part video guys because I found out if I try and rush it to the 10 minutes I hit 10 minute mark and I can't upload a video so I'm gonna go ahead and do a review on my brushes that I have so I'm just gonna show you basically what I have really quick so the first part will be my face brushes, the second part will be my eye brushes. So here it is. So I'm back together. This is my brush set I keep on my table. Let me turn it back around. And this is the side I face towards me because it has everything I need. See the back of it? It has like stuff that I don't really need as much as I do in the front. So this is what I use. And I love it because I feel so crafty and so like full of ideas of how to arrange my stuff. Because basically I bought these from Big Lots and I don't know why I always end up at Big Lots but I do always end up there and I bought these little pen holders I want to say. And they're $2 a piece. Still have the price tag on it. I'm crazy I know. And I bought little Velcro stickies and I stuck them on each of them. So that way when I have them on my vanity I just stick them together and they don't move around. Like one doesn't go here and another one doesn't get moved around. So. It's just easier for me to keep track of it. So the first part of the review will be on my face brushes. I'm gonna put my eye brushes to the side. And I'm just gonna go over what I have. I have a lot, you guys, so um, a lot of them are like high-end, low-end, MAC, Fleur, Costco, and those are just my face brushes. It's not like crazy. So let me start with this side really quick. Um, in this first corner, I have a couple, these are like my blush brushes, contour brushes, and a powder brush. So these are the ones that I bought from Big Lots. Yeah, all of those. All four of those. This is a Revlon one, and I use it for blush, and it's pretty awesome for $2. I've had it for like almost a year and a half now. And it stayed in pretty good shape. It's like a good rosebud shape. It compares to almost my MAC brush head right there. You see those two? And it's comparable. I like it, but I use it as a blush brush. I don't use it for that other purpose. Um, again, these ones I got big lots. I already did a haul video on these, and they're good. Like, it, this one I use just for the fly-offs from my 187. <sighs> this brush, oh my god! Fallout everywhere. It drives me crazy when I do my makeup, so Makes me a little mad, but what can you do? I just brush it off the brush hairs with this brush because it's an easy power brush. And then my contour brushes, again, are great because they get right into my cheekbones, and I love it. So those are two bucks a piece again. So this is my MAC brush, and yes, I keep it in the sleeve. Sorry, let me get it. I keep this in the sleeve because I didn't pay $36 for a brush to get ruined, and it's clean. Again, I use these for contouring and blush. Um, it's just a really great brush. I suggest you do, if you're gonna buy a MAC brush, I would suggest to get this one, even though it's quite pricey. And let's see. Let me move on to this corner now with the stippling brushes in it. Um, so a couple of these are, one of, this one's my e.l.f. foundation brush, it was a dollar. Works great on um, just applying my primer like I usually do. Okay. Again, my MAC 190 and then the Costco foundation brush. They're very comparable, you guys. A foundation brush is a foundation brush to me, and I just don't use it to apply my foundation, so I'm a little bit unique. <laughs> um, my stippling brushes, I love these from MAC. I mean, from Costco. They're great because they fit right on the apple of my cheek. See? Perfect. And it's pretty awesome. I love it. So these are great. And I still love the handles on it. They still have a jewel in it. I don't know if you guys can see it. See, there's that fat little jewel right there. And then my 129. Check this out, guys. I bought this two years ago. No, it's 2008. Almost four years ago. By the end of this year. And do you guys remember this? This is from the um, 
holiday set, the teal one, and I got that, and I love it. I've had it forever, but it's $1.29, right? This is my full size $1.29 I got from eBay, which is a real one, don't worry. And the heads are completely different. I just don't get it. Like, I don't get it. So I use this for blush, but I use this for all over face powder, which I'm now going to get into in a second. Um, but I just want to go over this brush. This is my concealer brush. I've said before that I don't use concealer brushes, but this is the only one I will use because it fits like where I need it to go and it ha it's big enough. And when I was in my makeup artistry class, I think this somehow got mixed into my own personal set of brushes and I almost am positive it's from um, Crown Brush because Crown Brush carries a C224 camouflage oval. And so, this is from Crown Brush, you guys. It's like, I think it probably no more than like $4. So, that's a great brush. And I love it. I'm gonna stick that back in there. On these back to your corner are blush brushes and powder brushes. So, I'm just gonna go over quickly what they are. These two that I'm gonna hold up are the Blushing Bronzer Blending brush from e.l.f. in their dollar piece and they're good they're just not cut as amazingly as like see there's a hair sticking out of it but they do the job and I like them for when I go do gigs or whatever and um, they work so I have no issues with them these are my 129s I love them this one's dirty this one isn't so I love them for applying my studio fix powder not for blushing um, these are the Costco brushes for powder. They're not dense enough for me, but I like them because they're soft and they're great. And they're a good value. And then, this is my flirt brush. Have you guys heard of this line? It's from, um, Estee Lauder. They carry that Kohl's. I got this brush for $8. And it says powder on it. And it's nice and sleek and black. And I like it. It's a good all over brush. So, yeah. This brush that I've had since I was like in high school. And this brush is the Benefit Powder Brush. I've had it since my junior year of high school, so almost five years ago. So this is a great brush. It's I never used to take care of it, believe it or not. Like I always use it. It was probably hella dirty all the time because it stuck in my backpack. But um it's great now, so yeah, I love it. It's like my favorite brush to use for Studio Fix apl application also. Not fluid powder, so yeah. So those are my brushes. I'm just going to put them back where they belong. And I really love these. They're It's a great holder, you guys, because it's divided into four. So yeah, and so stay tuned for part two. And again, thank you, Makeup Fanatic Queen, for requesting this um, video. Um, so part two will be my eye brushes and just miscellaneous stuff I keep in there. So yeah, thank you for watching. Came right back.